Hello guys, welcome to another second vlog. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to provision the Free6 app for Windows on FreeCX V16. So without further ado, let's begin this tutorial. Okay, so first off I'm going to go into extensions and just for the purpose of this video I'm going to create a new extension. This one extension 2003, first name free CX, last name Windows. And um, that's what we should be doing for the basic uh, installation. But uh, as we are using the FreeCX app for Windows, uh, FreeCX uh, has to send you a configuration file that will allow you to provision the FreeCX app for Windows onto your server. So for this demonstration, we're going to have to enter an email address. And you should probably do that as well. So I'm going to enter my personal email address now. Obviously, you won't be able to see it, but there we go. And now we're going to click on OK. And then I'll uh, show you what happens when we get the email. So I'll see you in a second. OK, so we're now uh, in the email. As you can see, I've now received it. And um, obviously, over here, it says, there is also a Windows desktop app. Configure it by running the attached config file which in this case, we will download it just for the purpose of this video. Um, as you can see down below, we have our config file over here, which is freecxprov, uh, obviously something, something, dot freecxconfig. We will download that, and that's going to help us uh, actually provision the phone. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go into my file explorer, and I'm going to uh, run the freecx phone for Windows uh, application. Uh, these are just all the um, pre prerequisites you need here. I accept the terms and just install. And click on finish. Okay, so as you can see we are now in the application. Now you would not have this uh, this, uh, this extension over here, you would just have a blank screen saying something else, but I cannot remember that so you had to excuse me there. So that's in our configure accounts. I'm going to delete this one. OK. And now we're going to go back into the settings, going to go on configure accounts. And we're just going to run our, um, our config here. As you can see, it's now provisioned. Exit out. And as you can see, we are now in the um, extension. So. So as you can see, I'm now back in my, uh, I'm back on my uh, FreeSex uh, web client. I'm in extension 2001, which is the one we made in the second video. Uh, and I'm going to place my FreeSex app right over here. So we're just going to dial extension 2001. Hello. Hello. One, one, two, two three. three. As you can, can see, see, it works. It works. So obviously, just like in the web client, we've got our hold button, we've got our transfer options, we've got the keypad, we've got the mute button, the recording button, the conference button, and a video button. And now, just for another test, we're going to call it back. So now we're going to go extension 2003 and click on call. Hello. Hello. One, One, two, two three. three. As you can, As you can hear, hear, it is it quite, quite loud, loud. Um, but that's, that's just, just echo. echo. One, One, two, two three. Three, two, two, one. two, one. And that's it. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you'd like to request a video, please leave your comments in the comment section below, or you can check out our Discord server, Twitter, and Instagram pages, which are the links in the video description. Join us next week, we'll be actually configuring a um, group and uh, we will uh, show you how, how that goes but for now see you in the next video bye bye for now